Do you guys know who this is? This is Razi, an Iranian chemist, astronomer, inventor, who was also an alchemist. And what he was trying to do was turn other metals into gold. In a part of history, there were a lot of alchemists and you could find them in all parts of the world. And even the name chemistry came from alchemists that were trying to turn any metal into gold. To receive gold, these scientists created and invented a lot of things. Like Razi, the Persian scientist, invented alcohol and sulfuric acid. And by doing this, alchemists invented a whole lot of new things. But unfortunately, they were never successful and never got gold from it. Where did gold come from? If you've seen our video about carbon, you know that carbon comes from dead stars. Gold is the same. Gold was cooked under extreme pressures in a star. And with the help of supernova, it got spread around throughout space. Just like carbon was spread out throughout the universe. A supernova happens at the end of a life of a star. And that means the star has turned into a red supergiant, which is a ginormous star. And in the end of its life, it will explode. The explode that's called a supernova. In every star, more than anything, there is hydrogen, the simplest atom in the universe. The insane pressure that's in the core of these stars after millions of years, it makes the hydrogen turn into other elements like helium, carbon, or oxygen. And after an extremely long time, they turn into heavy elements, elements like iron or nickel. What we're telling you right now doesn't happen in just a few years. What we're talking about takes millions or even billions of years. When a star is reaching the end of its life, it turns into a red supergiant. And just like we said, it has a huge explosion called a supernova. So what happened to the goal? Just give me a second, we'll get to it. When a supernova happens, protons and electrons hit each other so hard that they turn into a neutron. Neutrons are neutral and they don't carry a positive or negative charge. And that is why iron atoms absorbs these neutrons. When the neutrons are added to the iron atom, in a short period of time, they're turned into silver. More neutrons, they turn into gold. But it doesn't end there. If more neutrons are absorbed, the gold atom will turn into lead. And if you want more neutrons, the lead will turn into uranium. Everything we explain to you guys happens a few seconds after the supernova. The point is for the star to reach supernova. If it actually reaches this explosion, this reaction will take place in the first few seconds and the explosion will shoot all this stuff out throughout the galaxy. All this we just explained to you guys after a supernova, they will be spread around the universe in a shape of gas and space dust. And after billions of years, this gas and space dust will turn into star system. First, there will be a star and all the stuff around the star will slowly turn into planets. Planets like Earth, Jupiter, Mars, or all the other planets in the solar system. So the solar system was basically created like this. And that is why on Earth, we can find gold. We can find lead. We can find iron and carbon the thing that's the building blocks of life. It's been thousands of years since we found gold, but if you count all the gold we found since the beginning of time to now, it will fit in three Olympic sized swimming pools. That shows how rare gold is. The ones that are mined right now are so small that they barely add to this value and they stack up very slowly. But you should know that gold is extremely heavy and is one of the densest metals. For a liquid, water is quite heavy and one liter of water weighs one kilogram. It's good to know that gold is 20 times the weight of water. And if you somehow have one liter of gold, that's 20 kilograms of gold. And that's why these three swimming pools will weigh 205,000 tons. 
This is not a low amount of gold, but when you compare it to other metals, it's actually a very low amount. Not precious metals like iridium or platinum, but compared to normal metals like iron, aluminum, or copper. And that's why gold is extremely expensive. Something a lot of people don't know is that gold is way more rare than diamond. But the average price of a diamond is way more than gold. And unfortunately, that has something to do with business. And if you want to know more about this dirty business tactic, please watch this video. If you promise us to not tell the old alchemist, but now we can actually create our own gold. But atom by atom, this is done by a machine called a particle accelerator. And the biggest one is in Geneva, Switzerland. It's basically a giant 27 kilometer tunnel and it turns lead atoms into gold atoms. If you want to produce one gram of gold with this $22 billion machine, it's not gonna take a long time about 13 and a half billion years. So it's easier just to go buy one gram of gold. So where's the most amount of gold? Is it in South Africa? Is it in the gold mines? No, none of those are correct. The most amount of gold on earth is in the bottom of the ocean and that's in a dust form. They predict that all the gold that's laying in the bottom of the ocean weighs about 20 million tons, but collecting that is not worth it at all. So if you want to collect one gram worth of gold from the bottom of the ocean, you have to spend spent millions of dollars just to get that one gram. So that is why nobody does it. Even though gold is extremely dense, but it's weak towards heat and it will melt at a temperature of 1064 degrees centigrade. Another interesting fact about gold is that the color you see is the natural color. So it's a gold color and it's the only metal on earth that has this unique color. On the periodic table, gold is known as AU. This is a Latin word called our room, which basically means gold. Gold is extremely soft, not like calcium and potassium, but for a metal like this, it's extremely soft. So we said in the world, there's about 205,000 tons worth of gold, and it fits in three Olympic sized pools. It's good to know that 8,133 and a half tons of this gold belongs to the US government. And this is the most amount of gold held by a government. In second place, we have Germany and they have 3,359 tons worth of gold. Italy is in third place with 2,451 tons of gold. Fourth and fifth place is France and Russia. So this is the amount of gold held by government. How much do people hold? There is no exact number on how much gold the people of the world have, but there is an estimation on what the Indian people hold. As you know, India is one of the most populous country in the world. More than 1.4 billion people live here and they all love gold. And that's why it's believed that 24,000 tons of gold belongs to the Indian people alone. Let me tell you the price before I let you go. When I'm recording this video, the price of gold is $1,765 an ounce, and that's about $56.76 a gram. But since the gold price is like the stock market, it's always going up and down. So do you think gold is the most expensive metal on earth? Gold is one of the most expensive metals in the world, but there are other metals like platinum and iridium that are a little more expensive than gold.